Oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to all the videos. Let's get into today's topic, man. Look, so the Ravens have, you know, officially ended voluntary OTAs and all of that is done with OTAs done with in general. Now we head into the mandatory mini camp portion of the offseason schedule. So the Ravens will be holding mandatory mini camp from the 13th to the 15th, right? So this upcoming Tuesday. We're going to have all the Ravens in the building for the first time um, this entire summer so far. So, who does that mean? That means guys like Odell Beckham Jr. That means guys like J.K. Dobbins, Ronnie Stanley, Kevin Zeitler, Tyus Bowser, just to name a few people, okay? So, I, I thought that it would be important to talk about the storylines coming into this season, the importance of seeing these guys, the excitement, the story, the concern with the team. So, you know, we'll, we'll cover a little bit of everything, right? Um, so far as, let's start off the top, Odell Beckham, right? This is the big signing of the summer outside of, you know, obviously Lamar Jackson resigning with the team. But Odell, getting Odell Beckham here, uh, a, a star receiver, a guy that lifts the profile of the Ravens wide receiver core along with having other pieces already here in place. We will see him for the first time in a Ravens uniform and not just holding up a jersey. So that's going to be crazy to see. That's going to be impactful to see. But now also, I'll just, just outside of seeing him in the uniform, what can we expect? What can Odell Beckham actually give us this year? If he stays healthy, hopefully that we get that kind of Odell Beckham that we saw on the Rams, right? Because, listen, I think it's unrealistic, unrealistic excuse me, to have ideas that he's going to turn back the clock and be who he was on, you know, the Giants, right? That was his younger self. That's a different version before uh, injuries and things like that. So the version we saw on the Rams was a good player. It was a, honestly, we said this before, to me it's the opposite truth. The way that game was going on Super Bowl, he was on track to be Super Bowl MVP, right? When he got hurt, the whole entire game changed, right? The Rams were kind of doing whatever they wanted. Odell was a major uh, piece of that offense. And once he went down, things shifted. The Bengals were able to lock more on Cooper Cup and kind of really shut it down almost almost until the really the fourth quarter when they got together. So Odell Beckham was a big part of a Super Bowl winning team, right? A guy that was a, a major factor in the offense. So... He can bring that here in Baltimore and also just the confidence level, the uh, the attitude at receiver. Ravens have kind of have a receiving core where um, they got a lot of personalities that they really haven't had before. You know, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, um, and Odell Beckham. These guys are kind of like, I don't want to say D because that has like a very uh, negative connotation to it. But, you know, the Ravens don't usually have wide receivers that have this kind of bravado and swagger to them, you know, so it's going to be a little different, and there's nothing wrong with different. I love it, so I'm happy that these guys are here. I'm happy to see Odell Beckham in a uniform for the first time, and the main thing that all Ravens fans can hope for is a healthy season from Odell Beckham. We get a healthy season from him, he's going to be productive in this offense, and besides, you know, he's looking for another payday on the line as well, so this is a big season for Odell Beckham just in general, so I expect to see full-on, um, Really good play, really great receiving play from this Ravens unit as a whole. And Odell Beckham kind of being a catalyst out front of that unit. So I'm excited to see him here in Baltimore for the first time. He is expected to be here, so that's why I'm saying it. So uh, that's my expectations to see him for the first time in a Ravens uniform uh, coming up this Tuesday, right? So also, next guy, J.K. Dobbins, right? Now, J.K. Dobbins has been a little bit of a... I don't want to say controversial. I don't think anything he did was really controversial, but he's been a talking point over the last couple of weeks, right? So, you know, he had to tweet about how much he loves the Ravens, and now, obviously, for, for Dobbins being a second-round pick, that means he had a four-year contract. We're in year four right now, so he's in a contract year right now for his uh his next deal. So, I look at that as, as multiple ways. One, he's going to be extra motivated to get in here, do the work, and have a successful season. Um, two, this is really the first season, in my opinion, where he's going to be full goal and without any restrictions on him, I kind of talked about this before, but year one, he split carries with Mark Ingram and, and Gus Edwards was still in the mix as well. And he was clearly better than Mark Ingram at the time and should have had more of a load that didn't happen. Year two, we know what happens. Preseason game, injury, torn ACL, other, other ligaments in his knee, you know what I mean? He said it was a pretty gruesome injury. Um, so he doesn't get that, that, that shine that we was expecting year two, that sophomore breakout. We didn't see that. Year three, he's still recovering from the injury from year two, tries to push himself back, isn't quite right, has the surgery middle of the year, comes back, looks looks like, I would say, 80% of what J.K. Dobbins was, right? That's how he looked. You know, he had the run versus Steelers where he broke a long one, but really didn't have that getaway speed to really score that touchdown, right? 
that's what I'm looking for this year, right? Now that he's fully healthy, now that he's um, a year removed from that knee injury, right? This could be, this should be the best J.K. Dobbins season that we've had here, right? So for me, does he have that burst? Does he have that getaway speed? I remember his rookie year, I think it was the, it was the Bengals. Inside zone, boom, right up, right up the left sideline, outran the entire Bengals defense, okay? So does he, can he get back to that? Does that burst expose the speed to finish off a long run? Is that still there? That's what I'm looking for with J.K. Dobbins. Also, um, John Harbaugh has some interesting comments about J.K. Dobbins, right? It was, it was kind of non-committal, honestly. You know, he was saying that, I mean, it's the truth, right? It wasn't like it was anything um, out of far left field, but it was the truth. He said, listen, I don't know what the future holds. If you can know what the future holds, you tell me what's going to happen, right? Um, and he's right. Nobody really knows what's going to happen in the future uh, as far as J.K. Dobbins being here for the Ravens, but we know for this season, he's going to be a Raven, right? I know there was talk of Dalvin Cook. I'm going to be very quite honest with you. Um, I defended Dalvin Cook on Twitter because some people were kind of getting too far with running back shouldn't be paid and things like that. When Dalvin Cook, for the last couple of years, um, has still been a productive running back, has still been his old self. You know, he hasn't lost a step, really. Um, but as far as the Ravens go, spending more resources at running back is just nothing that they need to do. All right. Dalvin Cook is a great player. Um... He's only, I believe, 27, 28 years old, so he hasn't hit that, you know, running back 30, 30 wall that, you know, we all get so warned about and worried about. He hasn't hit that. But give J.K. a shot to run the backfield. Give Gus Edwards a shot to run the backfield. Justice Hill is still here. You got enough running backs. I know some Ravens fans are looking at Dalvin Cook. I'm fine. I'm, I'm cool. You know, he if he's going to go to Miami, if he's going to go to, I think the Jets were interested as well, we shall see. But... I'm I'm not interested in Dalvin Cook. That's just my that's just my point of view, and that's just how I, how I am with it. Let J.K. Dobbins do his thing. There's no point of paying Dalvin Cook. You just, you, listen, he's a running back. People say don't pay running backs, but he's not going to come here for a bottom shelf deal. You're still going to have to pay him some type of money. Why do that when you already have Gus? You already have J.K. Here? Just go with the guys you got. So that's my that's my opinion on it. Um, so listen, J.K. Dobbins, I expect to see a lot from him. I'm excited to see him back in a Ravens uniform this upcoming week at minicamp. I don't expect any holdouts or things like that uh, because he knows that he needs to play to get paid. So, you know, I, I expect that um, he'll show up here in full force. And I'm excited to see a good J.K. Dobbins off, uh, sorry, a good J.K. Dobbins in a good offense, right? Um, more passes to him, more involvement just as an overall player, not just as a running back. So that's what I'm looking forward to for J.K. Dobbins, all right? Um, also, like we said, Ronnie Stanley, Kevin Zeitler, some, some key members of the offensive line coming back. Uh, the Ravens still have a very, very good offensive line. Um, well, I won't say very I think it's a good offensive line, right? Um, thing that's holding it back to me for being very good is who's going to play that left guard spot. If, if Cleveland proves to be solid, if they move Falele there, if they move, um, excuse me, they got other guys in the mix as well. So, uh, John Simpson, that's that guy whole name I can think of. So, if that player... Player X at left guard can prove to be a good player, a good starter for the Ravens. They have a good old line. They also have some good depth, you know. Um, I'm a fan of, I, I am a fan of what Morgan Moses did for most of last year. He had some games where he wasn't very good. Let me be very honest with that. But most of the time, he was a solid starter. And that's what the Ravens need, right? You know, it, it costs money to get an expensive right tackle. Morgan Moses was that kind of middle of the line average to above average kind of starter and he's been just that all right i don't use pff grades for everything but i believe his pff grade last year was a 78 that's pretty good all right he's a good player solid player i'm happy to see what uh morgan moses can do in year two also that means for is still here and morgan moses has a down tick for is a he showed last year once he got settled in he got it he can play in this league so maybe for lele has some time right tackle as well we shall see but you got Ronnie Stanley coming here, left tackle, holding it down. Hopefully health is the main thing for him. Will he stay healthy? You know, we can't do nothing but see, wait and see. Kevin Zeitler at right guard, Tyler Linderbaum at center. We talked about Moses, Morgan Moses at right tackle. Like I said, if that left guard spot can be held down by a Cleveland, Falele, a John Simpson, somebody there that just doesn't get blown up on that side, the Ravens have a good offensive line. They have a good chance to protect Lamar Jackson the way he deserves to be protected. Right? So, and then um, the last guy, uh, I guess a notable name that I, I mentioned was Tyus Bowser, right? Because uh, he's a veteran, leadership, uh, you know, Clay's count was gone. Um, 
Justin Houston, it hasn't returned as of yet. He could very well come back. We don't know. But Tyus Bowser is that senior leadership in that Ravens pass rush run right now. So, you know, obviously, you know, Michael Pierce is still here. There's still other guys here. Project Washington, Matt BK. But Tyus Bowser is a vet. So I'm expecting to see him lead the room. Also, you know, we're going to have to see some more from him in terms of sack reduction as well, as it stands right now. My that's still my biggest concern. I've been saying it repeatedly. I put out the poll about would you rather see uh the Neil Hunter here or Chase Chase Young here? It ended up being pretty much 50 50. I think uh I haven't checked the poll in, in like about a day, but I think it might end up leaning towards the Neil Hunter. Y'all let me know. But uh the Ravens probably do still do need help with that pass rush unit. Um, but I am excited to tie his bouncer back. He's one of the best uh coverage outside linebackers in the league. Um also He's just a stabilizer force. He's the one of those guys that just does his job well every single time. So listen, man, the Ravens are back in the building. Mandatory minicamp is coming up. I'm excited to see all the Ravens in uniform uh, for the first time this summer. Some big names like Odell Beckham being here, J.K. Dobbins being here. It's going to be good to see those guys in action. It's going to be good to see those guys, uh, you know, playing for the Ravens, man. And as we ramp up, I'll have more videos coming out probably on a more consistent basis. But right now, it's a little bit of a dead period. Um, but... Uh, if you like the content of this video, man, consider hitting the subscribe button. I enjoy doing these videos, man. I'm going to get out of here. It's Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.